Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hope you all are having an amazing time. This is Hasib and in this video I will talk about LC premium triggers and actions. So first of all, I'll talk about what they are. First of all, I'm going to talk about what premium triggers and actions are in Go High Level. Next, we are going to talk about how much high level charges you for using this particular feature. And then we'll also look about a workflows pro plan, uh, which is also a part of discussing the pricing for premium triggers and actions. And then we'll look into how they are used, how you can use them. Um, you know for your business your clients business anything so first of all let's talk about what premium triggers and actions are let's try to understand if you are already familiar with workflows and go high level you know how workflows have two parts the first part is a trigger second part is action or actions triggers are basically what you set uh, you know as an event based on which the workflow starts executing actions are what actually gets executed once the workflow starts working so premium triggers and actions are basically what the triggers and actions that high level charges you for for every execution high level will charge you for using these premium triggers and actions so let's just go to our high level account let's go to automation let's try to create a workflow uh, and then try to understand it a bit better so i'll call it premium triggers actions this is our workflow now let's just click on add new trigger so whenever you see j just on the side of a trigger this this crown like icon that means this trigger is a premium trigger and go high level will charge you per execution for using this trigger so every time this workflow executes based on this trigger go high level will charge you so let's see what uh, uh, what else are there so if we go all the way down uninstalled apps these are all premium triggers every time you use these every time the workflow executes go high level will charge you so uh, let's just take an example our inbound webhook so this is basically uh, if you have already used zapier and zapier webhooks you know how webhooks can be used to fetch information let's see you let's say you want to buy leads or you know you want to buy information from some software or some company and they want you to send them a webhook so they can automatically send data based on this webhook you will receive data uh, let's say i have a company called xyz leads and i want xyz leads to send me data send me lead information and those information will be sent through this web webhook so i need to send them this webhook url and uh, based on that they will you know charge me so this is a really good example of, of that and if you have already used Zapier webhooks there, you don't need an explanation of what webhooks really are, you know. So let's just uh, try an example. So I need to, again, just as discussed, we need to send leads to this URL, which is a webhook really. And every time, again, every time this trigger is executed, go high level will charge me and we'll look into the pricing separately. Anyway, so let's just take this webhook, go to Postman. Postman is basically uh, like an API tester. So you can send test requests or a test lead to this uh, to this webhook using Postman. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm already signed into Postman. It's a free thing. You don't have to pay. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a post request. So I'm I'm doing making a post request from here. So Go High Level can receive it. So I'm sending data from this Postman as a test. That's why I'm making a post request. So here I'll paste the URL where I'm sending the data, which is my webhook, and then here there will be keys and there will be values so key is let's say first name uh you know uh, value will be john last name doe email john at mail.com you know phone john's phone number right so i'll just do first name john uh, and then i'll do last name and then i'll do email mail.com and then i'll do phone that's john's phone number so these are this is basically a lead and we are sending four pieces of information through this webhook to go high level from postman so once i do send it's gonna say status success that means go high level has received it successfully that's why go high level has sent postman this message that's why i was saying it here so let's go to webhook and uh go to fetch the sample request as we load this request that we just got we can see the data that I just sent from Postman. So from now on, every time this workflow again, every time this workflow is executed, they're going to charge us. We're going to save this trigger so we can create a contact. Now, Go High Level won't charge us for this because we don't see. If you just go ahead and see, uh, create contact. There's no crown-like icon here. Whenever there's a like for any action, there's a crown-like icon. 
the that's a premium action like this copy contact copy contact to another go high level sub account in your agency that is a premium action and go high level will charge you for that slack any slack action will be premium action so the go high level will charge you for that so i want whenever or whenever this is executed i want to create a contact which is fine so i will i will be charged once I will be charged once just for this inbound webhook because I don't have any contact I won't be charged but if I for example if I had slack you know as a, as an action here I would be charged twice because this is a premium action this is a premium trigger so that's why I'm being charged twice right so let's have a look at we'll come back to the example but let's have a look at the pricing so if we go to high levels pricing guide premium actions and triggers go high level will charge you for uh, for every execution of premium triggers and actions, they will charge you one cent per execution, which is a cheaper solution than Zapier. So if you are looking for something to uh, you know replace Zapier, this is your answer. And this this particular feature is available on all paid plans, all Go High Level plans, and rebilling is only available on the 497 Agency Pro plan. So you can't really rebill someone for one of your clients or one of your other sub accounts for uh, using this particular feature right so we've learned about that now let's go to the pro plan so this is a new thing uh after a level up day or something i can see that they have introduced a new pro plan for premium triggers and actions what happens is you know save up to 40 percent on monthly premium workflow costs for more locations per workflow users starting ten dollars for ten thousand premium actions and triggers so if you think that the number of execution and basically you have to count everything all the triggers all the actions for every execution you need to calculate just make an estimate and if you think that this is your limit you, you won't spend more than you know 10,000 premium actions and triggers execution then you can subscribe to this workflow bundle or pro plan which is ten dollars and obviously rebilling is enabled on you know you, you can upcharge on this so high level will charge you for each sub account if you if the sub account subscribe to this bundle feature high level will charge you 10 and you can charge them anything so if we go back to uh, let me just show you just save this let me just go ahead and show you so you can just set up a set up a price here i level will charge you 10 you can charge anything for each sub account that's basically how it goes and uh, if you want to if you want to uh you know enable it for a particular sub account the question is how do i do that so for that you need to you need to come down to the sub account you want to buy this bundle for come to automation go to global workflow settings and go down it says buy workflow pro plan so this is this is where you can buy it for a sub account the the pro bundle i mean so with that being said let's go back to our example so we have received the inbound webhook uh, data through postman as a test now we are creating a contact so we'll just do first name so first name will be inbound webhook trigger first name uh, and then we'll add a field that will be last name so that's the that's high levels field this is the inbound webhook triggers uh information that we received right and then email will be pretty similar there you go email and the last one is phone number which we can get from here phone phone that's it so save it and that's basically a contact being created in high level now if you wanted to send a slack message let's say we wanted to send a slack message that's a premium action so for example if we have a slack action over here let, let's say for argument's sake we save it we save this slack action i don't just want to uh, you know show you that it's pretty simple but if you had a premium action here and the premium trigger here every time the workflow gets executed you get charged two cents so that's how it's going to go because a lot of people are confused if we are using it as many times uh, in a workflow we're just going to be charged twice that's not the case every time any action any trigger is executed you're going to be charged by high level and that's how you how much you're going to charge but if you are you know subscribed to a pro plan then you don't have to worry until you are using uh, you are passing that 10,000 quota so that's basically everything uh you need to know about premium triggers and actions maybe i'll make more descriptive videos on how to use them in your funnels how to use them in your snapshots and stuff like that but for now that's pretty much it hope this video was helpful subscribe to my channel if you like my content and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.